Hi folks, Nick from Toy Foo here. I'm afraid Matt is busy with the fanzines at the moment, so I'm flying solo for this video. Uh, at time of recording, we are just under three weeks until TF Nation 2018. Today, I wanted to go through this box that has arrived recently from Yahoo Japan. We've got a few more exciting bits and bobs in it. And uh, let's have a look inside. I did look in this a few weeks ago, so it is open, uh, but I've forgotten most of it. Uh, ah, first off, we have oh, Bundling Convoy, rather exciting for all you fans of the Beast Wars second movie out there. This is when um, uh, Beast Convoy, or Gorilla Optimus Primal, came and joined uh, Leo Convoy, and he took on this sort of blazing form to challenge the might of Majin Zarak, who, or Martin Zarak, if you were drunk when you watched the movie and misread the subtitles. Um, yeah, he's good. He's a big red gorilla with gold accents, and he's got big swords and rockets and all sorts of things, and he's very fun. And it's in the Japanese box, which is quite nice. We do have Crystal Convoy as well, that's the translucent white one uh, with the black accents. Um, so, if this is your sort of thing, stop by the store. And do so early, because these went quite quickly on Saturday last year. Uh, right, next up. Ooh. Next up, Taco Tank Bath Toy. Oh uh, yeah. Last time we had one of these was 2010, 2011, I think. We were still at the Holiday Inn, and it was still auto assembly at the time. But uh, this was actually put behind the, the counter for Derek J. Wyatt, the Transformers animated guy, who was really excited because this was the last thing he needed to complete his Beast Wars collection, and he was delighted. Um, it's a little octopus, it uh, squirts water, it's got a little internal sponge that you fit in the head. It doesn't turn into a battle station sadly, but it does come with a little jelly figurine of um, scuba or claw jaw. So that's quite fun. So what else do we have in here? Ah, no. A second taco tank. That's good news. See how much of it we have this time. Got all of his tentacles. And let's see if we can open the head. Yep, yep. That's the funky hover bike. So both launchers this time. That one's a bit droopy. Yeah, there we go. Tank with tank, brilliant. Sit there. Right. And original tarantulas, Japanese packaging, very flash. So, fans of Sins of the Wreckers probably be very keen on picking up one of these. Looks to have everything, it's got all the legs, all the missiles. That's rather fun. Uh, oh, this is an unusual one. This is a chap called Ella Forca, who is a Blendatron. That's what the latter Fusors uh, were called, the ones that appeared in Beast Wars Neo, um, to help these guys sell better, even though they were a bit goofy. Um, Takara decided to make them um, sort of avatars of Unicron, like Hook, Line and Sinker, or Galvatron, Cyclonus and Scourge, if you look back far enough. Um, so, Ella Forca is a different colour scheme from Torca, the western version, so possibly of interest to completists or just people who like really weird looking toys that are hybrids of elephants and killer whales. And finally, we have, I want to say, Hellscream? I think this is Hellscream. Yeah, Hellscream, because this was um, Beast Wars Second Starscream's cyber beast form. And it's a sort of terrifying looking mechanical hybrid shark slash sawfish slash submarine thing. It, it is a uh, total abomination and I love it. And I think, yeah, 
that's it for this box. We do have more stock on the way from uh, Yahoo Japan. Um, I recently won a Leo Kaiser gift set, which is incredibly exciting. We've, we've never had one before. Um, it was very expensive. I don't know how complete it is, but we'll find out as soon as it arrives. And I'll put up another video for that. And I'll put up information on Twitter and the Facebook group to let everyone know about it. Um, I hope we can make somebody's dream come true uh, by providing them with one of these. Um, there's some other interesting bits and bobs as well. The um, the translucent spy changers from Car Robots. That's a weird one. We didn't win the full set, unfortunately, but we did win most of them. Uh, so that might be worth looking into as well if you're a big fan of that era. Um, that's about all I've got to say just now. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you at TFN.